Please put your hands together as I welcome Mr. Wojciech Mats and Mr. Keshishtof Medora. A round of applause for them as they join us from our partners Eco Fasada and here to share with us more on improving your facade. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Wojciech Mats and I am business development manager at Eco Fasada. Joining me today is Krzysztof Midura, our designer and the head of technical department. First of all, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to be here. Our presentation will take about 15 minutes and our main topic is modern ventilated facet system in Poland. I don't know if you know, but one out of every five new buildings in Poland have elements of ventilated facade. As a cofasada, we support our clients from the project till assembly phase. We offer a comprehensive range of services, including design, documentation creation, budget allocation, our out bracket system, and much more. Krzysztof will now provide you with more details about the technical aspects, our unique bracket system, and the current state of the Polish facet market. Thank you very much. And Krzysztof, the stage is yours. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As Wojtek said, my name is Krzysztof Midora, and I am here to introduce you to the principles of the technical solutions of the subframe of our ventilated facade systems. Uh, maybe for the beginning, let's talk about the numbers, the ecofacade and numbers of our company. We are on the market for the 10 years till now. We've done 250, more than 250 completed projects as a, a contractor and a subcontractor, and there was more than 700 projects as a bracket system supplier, but not the brackets, even the cladding, the anchors, the adhesive systems, and so on. We've got more than 150 satisfied suppliers every year, and I hope that in the future this number will be bigger and bigger. And throughout all those years, we've sold more than one million brackets on our, uh, on our uh, projects and as a suppliers. Uh, now, uh, let's discuss about the documentation. Our products are complied with the certification that are required on the European and the domestic market. The crucial documents that we are with our uh, subframe is the ETA document. I think Wojtek that the next will, okay. Sorry for this. Uh, the ETA document. The ETA document includes the service package regarding the technical parameters validation, such as dynamic load resistance for the structure and more. The next bunch of documents are the fire resistance tests because of the fire resistant low that is required in Poland. These kinds of tests are provided by the Polish ITB Institute. This institute covers those uh, service with the special fireplace, and we've got this um, service made with the HPL, the quartz, fiber cement, basalt, composite, and even the ceramic tiles. And there is also the third type of documents, the declaration of performance, which is in the one big piece with the ETA document. Now there is uh, first the most uh, crucial part of our substructure are the uh, brackets. They are made of inox steel due to its thermal and the durability characteristic compared with the aluminum with the same thickness. There are two types of brackets. The fixed one, which we can fix the permanently the attaching the load bearing profiles and the sliding one. The sliding one is used for the mounting profiles with the possibility of the thermal compensation due to the nature of the aluminum. As you can see, some of our consoles, some of our brackets has got the perforation. We designed this perforation to avoid the thermal bridges, which are the, uh, one of the things that we need to face if we want to get the thermal efficiency of our buildings. Uh, some of our brackets do not have the perforation because of the thickness of the insulation layer. Additionally, because of the perforation, we added the bendings on the both sides of brackets to make it more stiff and more durable. 
Now let's talk about the, uh, about the profiles that we are using in our system. Uh, the majority of our profiles are using the, um, the ecosystem of the TL and U profile. The T profile, as you see at the app, it is used to join the two claddings together. The L profile is used as the corner one and the support one. And the C profile is used to mount to install the cladding in the glyph next to the window. Once we are using this kind, just give me, more stuff, wait. Once we are using this kind of uh, profiles, we can get the cladding connected with the profiles by using the adhesive systems, screws, or rivets. So this is the 90% of our projects that we are selling and we are doing as a constructors and uh, uh, on our construction sites. The next system is Echo Y. This system is made for the composite panels, designed as a cassettes. This type of attachment is considered by the hanging mechanical one because of its nature. Using this system, we can give the more spatial look for the building because we can get the cassettes that is quite geometrical one. Uh, the, this kind of the um, assembly is more, more spatial than the flat one, using the adhesive type of assembly and the uh, rivets. The next type of uh, assembly is Echo ZAG. This type of system allows us to perform an invisible mechanical installation using special hidden acres attached to the back of the cladding. It is used for the installation of the boards with unusual thickness. And, uh, and the cladding made of stone, for example, limestone, marble, and so on. And the last type of assembly, which can be used interior, is a solution for walls without the thermal insulation, named Echo Omega. Profiles of these systems are geometrical thick of 20 millimeters because of the minimum gap between the substructural base and the back of the boards. So these four types of assembly are in our majority of our products. Now after the technological part of the presentation, now let's talk about our re re realization recently done in the Warsaw region. First of all, Rondo Wiatraczna in Warsaw is this big uh, office uh, and shopping building made with a uh, fiber cement cladding with an adhesive and a rivet assembly. It was approximately 2,500 square meters of the fiber cement cladding. The next one is Jelna 62, located in the city center of Warsaw. As you can see on the first uh, photograph, you can see the skyline of the Warsaw. We done this uh, project with a quartz cladding and the HPL with the wood decor. There was approximately 700 meters, square meters uh, of cladding. Uh, next building is ZUS Warsaw, is a social insurance bureau of, um, of our country. We've done there, um, this project with a cladding made of ceramics on the special hangers, and it looks like a very big brick, piece of bricks. It looks quite similar to the bricks. There was approximately 2,000 square meters of this kind of the cladding. The next one is Stain Hotel in Warsaw. It was made on the HPL cladding. There was an adhesive and a rivet type of assembly. This hotel is located near the uh, shopping, uh, shopping airport in Warsaw, and there was approximately 1,500 square meters of claddings. The Intraco Prime office building is located in the city center of Warsaw. We've done there, uh, this project using fiber cement cladding, and the Echo ZAG type of invisible mechanical uh, assembly. As you can see, the majority of boards are on the ground floor, but there are some boards between the glazing on the upper floors, also mounted by the invisible mechanical assembly. The next one is Nowe Odolane, located in the Wola district in Warsaw also. And as you can see in the picture in the, in the middle, there are rivets. The rivets in, are in the quite similar color to the wood decor. It can get some, for me, some steampunk way of look for the, 
for the, uh, for the facade. There was approximately 800 meters made only on HPL with a wood decor and rivets. The next one is school Yesiennych Liści in Warsaw. Yesiennych Liści means autumn leaves. It was also made on the HPL panels. As you can see, we can get the very colorful type of a uh, facade, uh, especially if we, if we are talking about the schools for, for our children. There was approximately 500 square meters of this type of uh, cladding. Uh, Szanowskiego East Side Warsaw, located in uh, South Praga, the district of Warsaw. We've done this, uh, we've done this uh, project using the fiber cement, the dark one, the anthracid one, and the basalt type of cladding with the wood decor. So as you can see, we can mix both type of claddings and make some very modern and distinguished way of finish the, uh, the facade. Uh, Moderna East Side in Warsaw, it is the next uh, project that we've made. There is a mix of the exterior and the interior uh, types of assembly. In the interior, we are using the Omega type of profile, which I was talking about uh, what's the fourth type of the, of the assembly. And uh, fiber cement cladding, as you can see on the picture on the right side, it was made by the adhesive system. Um, Moduo is tied in Warsaw, also riveted. Mm, uh, there was a fiber cement and the HPL with wood decor. Very special form, very modern, and uh, it was approximately 700 square meters, located also near the Chopin Airport in Warsaw. Modern, modern house in Warsaw. This project was made for the private investor, so as you can see, we can implement the cladding and the entire uh, ventilated facade system also for the houses, for the private houses. And then it looks quite trendy and modern for me. La Praga is stayed in Warsaw. It is located in the North Praga district of Warsaw. Uh, this kind of project was made in the area with the old buildings. So as you can see, we can get this project to, for the old buildings to get it like a new, to be more modern, more trendy, and uh, better to, to take a look on. And the last one is the Konarskiego estate. As you can see, the building is on the little arc. It's curved, the front facade, so we can also implement the subframe in this kind of um, projects. We've done this project with a quartz panel made with adhesive and riveted system. Thank you for your attention. If you've got some questions, we are next to the registration box outside. <laughs>